Hey everybody! Welcome to hell. Population me. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in any God. Well, then you're gonna die. If you're not a Muslim, you are gonna die. But what are you gonna say to them? Are you gonna say to them, wait a minute! I backed you people on the mosque a long time ago. I was all for it. This is fucking like, nonsense. Oh, I don't believe in God. It, Slice. You know, I'm, I'm putting this down. I'm smoking. What happened to you? Intermission. Right, right then and there. You have to listen to this. Are trying to say that won't ever happen or that could never happen? Tommy, it could happen. But you know what else could fucking happen? China could nuke the, the fucking the West Coast. You fucking think we should round up all the fucking Chinese people? <coughs> I've seen pretty fucking grotesque fucking videos here on YouTube of people being beheaded because they're not Muslims. Hey, Tommy. You want to see a really fucking grotesque video? I'll fucking link it in my description box for both of these fucking videos. It's a video from WikiLeaks of two fucking men being killed because they were fucking Muslims. And, you know, the fucking people who kill them, unlike the Muslims, which, you know, yeah, it's fucking barbaric how a Muslim kills somebody with the fucking, you know, cutting off the head. But at least when they kill somebody, they're usually all fucking stone faced and shit. They're serious about it. These fucking yahoos in this Apache fucking helicopter are just like, yeah, look at us fucking, they're like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah! I'll show you that fucking video. Tell me how fucking disgusting that shit is when you see a van full of fucking innocent people, including fucking children, get riddled with fucking bullets. What do you think? What would happen? What do I think would happen in Tommy's imaginary fucking never gonna happen world? They would probably kill me. Eastern countries. You know, just like now, have a church on every street corner. You think that's gonna fly over there? This, this is the best fucking part of this video. Where Tommy basically says, uh, do you think they let churches be built in the Middle East? Uh, I don't know. I didn't do no statistics. But if you build it. A church in the Middle East, they're going to cut your head off. He just, he fucking says, flow, he doesn't fucking know, and then he fucking says some bullshit that he can't fucking prove. I'm just going to let this fucking play. Just Why listen. Not? The guy has the fucking, the Christian listen. has enough money to build something. Listen. Why couldn't he, right? But it's funny, you're sticking up for the same religion that would never allow that over there. Never. Um, maybe there is Christian churches. I don't know. I haven't done that much research on it. But from what I see, the Middle Eastern countries, you put a church up there, it's going down. You I didn't do research, but if you build a fucking church in a Middle Eastern country, it will go fucking down. That fucking sums up this video fucking best. I didn't do no research. That that could be the fucking tagline for this for all three of these fucking videos. Tommy, not everybody from the fucking Middle East is Muslim. There are Jews and there are Christians. And they shockingly have places of fucking worship in their respective fucking countries. Yeah, it's not as many, but you know why? Because Christian Christian I'm so fucking flushed that I can't even say fucking Christianity. Christianity and Judaism are a fucking minority religion in the Middle East. Just how if you go to fucking Asia, Christian, Christian, I can't even fucking say it. Oh, oh my God. This video is like affecting me. It's like the orb of stupidity from fucking SpongeBob SquarePants. I just, I'm like, oh, let's get this over with. Before I fucking lose, an you know, an my name and shit. Me being an atheist and not believing in God. But I also don't want religion around. Anti-theist. I don't. Okay? Atheist? Most all of them I See, don't. look. Here's why I'm not a fucking anti-theist. I know I, I fucking brought this up and I was like, I'm going to explain it later. You're never getting rid of fucking religion. 
or fucking dogmatic viewpoints. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ask somebody like Sarah Hahn. He knows this. He is, he, he you know, he, he's one of the best fucking callers of bullshit on this fucking site. Because he knows you don't have to be fucking religious to be a fucking dogmatic asshole. That's the thing. Religions are made up of people. People are fucking assholes. Westboro Baptist Church, if they were Muslims, they'd be assholes. If they were atheists, they'd be fucking assholes. They're every ass Osama Bin Laden. Christian asshole, fucking atheist asshole. It doesn't fucking matter, the religion. The religion's just a fucking tool. It's like with an arsonist. If arson, if, if fire never fucking existed, the arsonist would probably go around fucking ripping kittens' heads off or some stupid fucking shit, or they'd be rapists. They're assholes. It's not fire's fucking fault. It's not religion's fucking fault. It's assholes. That's what I am. I'm a fucking anti assholeist That's me. That's my fucking philosophy. Anybody who's a fucking asshole, I will fucking call out. Pat Condell, atheist, asshole. You're being an asshole. Asshole. Don't want to deconvert anybody. I don't want to deconvert anybody. Me neither. I just don't want a religion around. Cause he gets, cause it's like I've been fucking saying, you can switch a fucking label on a can of shit soup and call it cream of the crap. It's still gonna be shit fucking soup. When Christians pass a bill that fucking atheists don't like, all of a sudden, when you know they try to push a bill and they're trying to get laws done for them and everything else, get things in the school, change in science, change in the books, change in whatever, then you atheists have a problem. With it. Yes. Because you know why? That's going to affect fucking society. One fucking mosque is no big fucking deal. There's nothing to fucking protest here. Is he fucking building the building out of orphans or something? Why should we protest it? it when Christians try to pass anti-gay laws, that's taking away somebody's freedom. Somebody building a fucking building, what is that fucking doing? Somebody tell me! Unless it's like a lab where he's gonna make meth-covered razor blades or some shit. I don't see... I wish I still had some vodka. I really do. You just have a problem. Because, you know... Because it could possibly affect you. Yes! Right then and there. Bingo! No! Not right then and there! It can affect you. The fucking mosque isn't going to affect fucking nothing. You know what? I take that back. You know what it's going to do? It's going to raise the property value of that fucking street. Because you know what? It's, instead of a fucking old abandoned shoe factory doing fucking nothing, it's going to be a fucking productive building that's going to pay fucking taxes and have people coming to that fucking street and shopping on that street and shit. So, you know, it's going to affect fucking shit in a positive fucking way. Asked if something goes through, a bill goes through, or something, it'll happen to you. See, a mosque being built somewhere doesn't affect you. Doesn't affect fucking doesn't nothing. Affect and if it it's does affect building. anything, it's a positive fucking effect. Right. Like I said. It's just a building. Oh, he has money. Let him build a building. That's yes! Good. Until he builds one, two, five... Who cares if he has the fucking money? Ten thousand mosques in Manhattan. What do you think these Tommy. Middle East are fucking Tommy. 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 Seriously. Even at the height, the fucking height of Christendom in this country, there weren't remotely near fucking ten thousand fucking churches in Manhattan. You know how many people would have to fucking live in Manhattan to make that fucking effect? He's not gonna build fucking mosques just for shits and giggles. He's gonna fucking build things that people are gonna use. That's dumb. That's the fucking dumbest thing I ever heard. These fucking tycoons over there are fucking loaded with money. What are you kidding? Tommy, he's an American citizen. Over here. Ah, I just want to fucking play the video. 
Is it playing or is he is he just staring at me? It's a bit of clusterfuck. Really yeah, ass. Well, this to happen. I'm in distress. I don't want it to happen. Out of booze. I'm an atheist who doesn't believe in God, but I'm also a fucking a person who's not gonna let religious people push our government around, push our schools around. He fucking bought a fucking piece of land legally. Went to the fucking city council, gave them fucking plans that they fucking approved legally. How is he fucking pushing us around? Where is the fucking pushing? There is no fucking pushing. Our daily lives around. You know? I mean, shit, you can't be, you can't, you have to be a fucking religious person to be in office. Or you'll never get elected. Yeah, say that to the, you know, the atheist fucking congressman. What's his face? Atheist, you know, they cross out. Ow, I hurt my hand. And everything else on the money and shit like that. What do you see? Ow. We're mixing church and state. And government. Yeah, right and now. you know what? It says fucking God, not fucking Allah. Why are you fucking picking on the fucking Muslims when the Christians already have their fucking foot in the door? These? So you're going to allow people to keep... Your, I think your I might lose my voice out. again. But you're going to allow shit to start. <laughs> it's already fucking started. There's mosques already in New York. There's mosques already all over this country. You know why? Because we have this little thing called freedom. Fuck. Religious fucking freedom. It's, you know, it's a little fucking thing. Little thing. You know, people can fucking, you know, build houses to the fucking thing they worship as long as they don't fucking harm anybody else or any other thing. I'm from the Bronx. Take it easy, right? Because you sound just like those extreme Muslims. No, you know, to your credit, you haven't fucking, you know, called for a fatwa on anybody yet. You sound more like a bigoted asshole like Pat Condell. I mean, I want to fucking say, you said some shit in this video that make Pat Condell fucking think twice before posting a video. Well? If they, you don't understand. I oh, damn, there's part. another two fucking minutes. Are you going to go fucking kill yourself? Are you going to take a fucking plane and fucking go through a building and kill yourself? In hope for 40 fucking virgins? <clears throat> huh? Come on. These people have heart. They fucking go after it. They believe in this shit. They believe in their religion. They believe they're doing it in honor of their God. And they'll do anything. To take over. What do you think? Muslims don't want the whole fucking world to be Muslim. Don't everybody to be Muslims? Of course they do. You don't think atheists want everybody in the fucking world to be atheists? That's why they try and fucking come after you and convert you. So if I do, do, like do, 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 I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm tapping out now. He doesn't really fucking say anything the rest of the video. I'm fucking.